Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. It is November and I am in my collective haunt studio and I am working hard today on this tapestry because I would love to finish it in the next couple of weeks. I think I'm being a bit ambitious but look we have to have something to aim for. I want to have it available for my summer solstice collection which is a sort of a mini collection of about probably two or maybe three tapestries and then I'll aim towards my winter solstice collection for next June. So we'll see how we go. If you want to know what I'm talking about you can check out this video um, from about a month ago when I kind of explain how I'm going to be selling my artworks. So let's go and grab a coffee and oh first I'll show you the um, current exhibition that just opened the other night here at the Haunt. Okay, so I am walking around Medindi and this is the very first big thing in the whole of Australia. So this is it. This is the Big Scotsman. It's the very first big thing in the whole of Australia. It started everything. So this was in 1962 or 63 I believe. It's looking pretty uh, daggy but hey <laughs> that's what we love about it right as you can see he is on the corner of a very busy intersection <laughs> and a very daggy motel It's Sunday the 12th of November and I'm going to be spending the day making candles. Now I currently am at the point when I've done all my testing, I've, I've got the formula that I'm happy with, I've had other people testing for me as well and I've gotten some really good feedback and I'm just waiting now for the stickers. So I'll have a sticker on the lid of my artwork and then I'll have a sticker on the side of the tin uh, with whatever candle it is. So I've just got the six fragrances at the moment and I'm just going to do a soft launch at Collective Haunt. So at the opening of the next exhibition we have like a mini market uh, downstairs in the car park. So I'm going to be just selling the candles there and I'm just going to see how they go. Yeah, so today I'm just going to make five of each fragrance and I might also Maybe have a little mini stall set up in my studio as well, aside from the market. So people who come in can smell them and then maybe purchase them before Christmas. So I'm going to do that. I don't know when I'm going to add them to the website, 
because I just need Anita to do the write-up for me and then I need to do photography but at the moment I'm just concentrating on making candles getting the stickers ready and also I have on order flyers for candle care so they should be coming in the next week or so as well so let's go into the kitchen and make some candles On the 19th of November, we decided to catch the train and visit the Bowbird Design Market. I don't normally do the November market because in Australia, November is quite hot. So I don't think anyone's going to be buying scarves in summer. So it's really nice to come here just as a visitor. And I had quite a few friends who were vending at this particular <laughs> venue. You can see here Anne Gregoriadis and Carolyn Corletto oh, and Maggie one. Moy had a stall, but this time they had a big stall, which is fantastic. So we had such a great time at Bowerbird. It was really nice just being a visitor rather than being a vendor. It was just a lot of fun. And um, when we got home, my stickers had arrived for the candles. So let me show you. So this is, let's see if the camera plays ball. This is one of them. And here's my label. I'm doing it under the name of Eccentric Weft, which is a name that I've loved for a while. I may rebrand as Eccentric Weft. I'm not quite sure, but um, if you're a tapestry weaver, you know exactly what Eccentric Weft is. But at the moment, the candles are Eccentric Weft. So that's one of them. This one's like a sort of an oceanic um, fragrance, um, which is why I've got the lobster on the tin. But um, I've named them after goth songs or albums. And uh, <laughs> so this one's Eternal Deep. If you know, you know. Let me show you the others. Here we've got Cannibal Roses. This is a needle point that I did many years ago of Susie Sue. And Cannibal Roses is my favourite Susie the Banshee song. And it is a beautiful rose fragrance. The candles are gender neutral, but this one's probably the only one that isn't. This is me being self-indulgent. This is black rose and wood, so it's a bit of an earthy fragrance. This one is Prayers on Fire, which is uh, an album by The Birthday Party. And this is my very, very, very first tapestry. Come on, camera. The very first tapestry I made, it's actually behind me. And this one is like a bit of a wood smoke kind of fragrance. It's so far my testers, um, out of all my testers, this one's the most popular one. It is pretty good. This is another needle point that I did um, quite a few years ago, actually. It was for a commission and it's actually Johnny Slut from Specimen. Uh, but it's always been a bit of a favourite. So this one is Temple of Love, not a Specimen song but a Sisters of Mercy song. 
And this is a fragrance blend that Anita invented. So it's like teak, narrowly, hay, tobacco. It's actually kind of sweet, but it's actually quite sort of, I was going to say gender neutral, but it's kind of masculine. I don't know, but it's just delicious. This one is Spiritual Cramp. It's one of my X-ray tapestries. And it's from the song Spiritual Cramp by Christian Deaf. And this is actually my favorite one. It's actually a Nag Shanta, like incense smell. It is absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, this is Veil of Death. And it's kind of inspired by Papa Gede, a voodoo loire. And this one, actually, when you open it up, it smells like aftershave. But when you burn it, it's actually not as strong as it smells in the tin, but it is. It's really, really good. So that's my range. Um, I'm really excited about launching them. I'm just going to do a soft launch first because I don't know what people are going to think of them. I don't have any of the typical candle smells like there's no vanilla in sight. There's no um, sort of fruity floral fragrances apart from the cannibal roses. There are quite unusual fragrances. Oh, and excuse my heavy breathing. My asthma is playing up. I've had some sort of cold during the week, but um, yeah, just in case you're wondering about my uh, wheezy breathing. Good morning. It is Saturday, the 25th of November, and you know where I am. I'm at Collective Haunt. My studio looks a little bit sad at the moment because I had to take all of my medical inspired tapestries for next week's exhibition at the Flinders Medical Centre. So I'll show you how empty it looks. So what I've done is I've taken um, a lot of these tapestries and just moved them up so it doesn't look so empty. But yeah, all of this part of the room's empty. This wall looks even more sad because most of my x-ray pieces were on this wall as well as on down there on that wall. So yeah, it looks, looks a little bit um, strange. So here's my tapestry at the moment. I don't think I'm going to get it finished for December. It's only a couple of weeks away. And I've got, let's have a look to see how much I've got left. I mean, I've got half the U and the Q. Considering I'm here only on Saturdays working on this particular loom, I don't think I'm going to get it done. But you know what? I'm going to try it my very best. We'll see how we go. That's okay, we can... Uh... I can judge that. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll have to wait until the next studio vlog to see what it all looks like after it's been installed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for another studio vlog. Just a short one this time, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.